Hello beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jania and I am back with another video. So today we are going to be going over my top five fragrances of 2021. So I love fragrances. I love putting them on after I get out of the shower, if I'm going on a date night, when I'm going to work, when I'm filming, anything. I just love smelling good. Every product that I talk about today, I will be linking it down below. I will be giving you all my honest and true opinion on every single fragrance. So if you're interested in knowing what my top five fragrances were for 2021, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so coming in at number five is going to be Gucci Bamboo. I love this fragrance. I got it in the 2.5 fluid ounce bottle and it retailed for $119. When I tell you, this perfume smells so good. It's like, I feel like men and women could wear this fragrance. Like, I feel like it gives off that musty, like, not like musty, like you stink musty, but like that musty, like, amber type of like, woody type of like scent. It smells so good. This isn't though a fragrance that I would wear every single day just because it is kind of strong. But I do love it. I've been wearing Gucci Bamboo since 2015 when it initially came out. So if you're looking for a musty, like woody, amber type of fragrance, then I would definitely recommend you try out Gucci Bamboo. Okay, so coming in at number four is going to be the Carolina Herrera Perfume. This is 2.7 fluid ounces and it retailed for about $70. Look at this bottle, y'all. This bottle is so sexy. Like, look at this heel. Even if I did spray all of this perfume out, I would still keep this bottle just because it looks so good. Like, this bottle is so sexy. On top of that, this is one of those, like, sweet-smelling fragrances. It's not strong. It's not, like, a fragrance that you couldn't wear to sleep. Like, if I got out of the shower, I would definitely put this on just to, like, go to sleep. If I wanted to be cute and just have a movie night on the couch, I would definitely spray this, like, girl, get this. Your man would definitely be all over you once you spray this perfume. Like, it smells so good. And it looks, like, it smells just like the bottle looks, like, sexy. So, if you are looking for a fragrance that's sweet and, like, smells good, I would definitely recommend the Carolina Herrera. Now, coming in at number three, it's going to be my Marc Jacobs Perfect. I love these perfumes so much that I had to get two bottles. I got the small one, which retails for $99, and I got the large one, which retails for $133. But you can definitely get these two fragrances on sale. They're always on sale at like Macy's. So if you're looking for this, don't buy it full price. Get it on sale because there's always a sale on these products, on these two. So just this bottle alone like i definitely think it's worth it because of the details of the bottle it is so pretty these bottles are everything like you could keep these bottles for a very long time and just have them up for display this one is going to be 3.3 fluid ounces and this one is going to be 1.6 fluid ounces so yeah these smell really good they're both like in between the musty and the sweet smell so if you want a combination of both scents then i would definitely recommend the mark jacobs perfect perfume okay coming in at number two is going to be my louis vuitton i don't really know how to pronounce it but i'm gonna try the best i can it's called the atrape revis i don't know <laughs> how to pronounce it but this stuff smells absolutely amazing. My friend ended up um, recommending this perfume to me and I got it because it just smells absolutely amazing. Oh, like I don't even know how to describe it. Like it smells like flowers in France. Like, <laughs> I don't know, but it smells so good. The Louis Vuitton store that I went to also let me get my initials engraved in it. So let me see if y'all can see that. It says Gigi. 
so yeah and another thing that's good about this this bottle retailed for 265 dollars but once you run out of the fragrance you can go back to the store and they will refill it for you for 165 dollars or 160 dollars something like that but y'all this stuff oh, i wear this every day like this is probably my everyday perfume because it's right in the middle it's not too it's i mean it's a little pricey but it's I don't know i feel like once i refill the bottle like it's 160 dollars that's a normal like fragrance price so i feel like i can wear this like every day and i won't feel like dang i'm running out of perfume i'm gonna have to buy it again i just love this stuff i wear it to work i wear it when i'm filming i'm actually wearing it right now y'all this stuff smells so freaking good like and it's long lasting it lasts all day you may not be able to smell it but when you go around somebody they're gonna be able to smell it on you so i would definitely definitely recommend this perfume i give this a 10 out of 10 if i could give it a 25 out of 10 i don't even think that's possible but this would be that perfume like this stuff smells absolutely amazing so if you are interested in something like this something that's very sweet something that's very sultry something that you can just wear every single day that i would definitely recommend this louis vuitton perfume okay so coming in at number one first of all wait comment down below if y'all know what my number one is going to be like if you think you know what number one is going to be comment down below and let me know also give this video a big thumbs up if you are liking this content so far but coming in at number one y'all a moment of silence for number one okay coming in at number one is the baccarat rouge perfume another moment of silence y'all when i tell you this perfume smells like heaven i swear like god sent this perfume down from heaven this stuff smells so freaking good look at the bottle y'all this stuff is $325. Look at the bottle. Look where I'm at with the bottle, y'all. When I tell you, this is like the best. All the celebrities are wearing it, everybody. When I wear this, I literally feel like a rich <laughs> This stuff smells so good. I get so excited when I talk about it because it smells so good. It has that like, oh my God, it has that like powdery, like, I don't know. You could wear this to brunch. You could wear this to sleep. You could wear this on a date. You could wear this to a funeral. You could wear this on a plane. You could wear this wherever. Anywhere that you want to wear this, you could wear it. It's not like an overpowering scent, but when you walk up to somebody and they smell you, they're going to say, Girl, what you got on? This stuff is like absolutely amazing, y'all. I love this stuff so much. Like, I have to get me another bottle. Like, I just been procrastinating on getting another bottle. So, I haven't been spraying it as much. Because, like I said, it's $325, girl. But, yes, this stuff smells absolutely amazing. And that's why it is my number one. Because I love this stuff. So, if you are interested in this perfume or if you want to try it out i would definitely 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 recommend this baccarat rouge another thing that i wanted to say before i close out the video is that i'm the type that have to spray perfume on me first and walk around with it before i purchase it so i would recommend before purchasing any of these fragrances go and see if you could get like a sample spray it on you and see how you like it first before you actually purchase it like if you're at macy's or something or if you're in a mall Go up to the counter if they don't have samples, spray it on you, and then walk around the mall. And if you like how it smells, then go back and purchase it. Because with me, I can't just buy a fragrance without smelling it first. So I would definitely recommend doing that first before you actually purchase it. I also wanted to talk about two perfumes that I actually have on my wish list. The first perfume is going to be the Bond Number no. 9 Greenwich Village. And I believe that perfume retails for about $400. That has been on my wish list 
for the longest of time my aunt had it and i sprayed it on myself a couple of times and i really 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 love that fragrance so go ahead and check that one out too or comment down below if you have that or if you know the perfume that i'm talking about or if you want to get it as well or if it's on your wish list then the other perfume that i have on my wish list is the twilly hermes perfume I haven't smelled that one yet, but I heard really, really, really good reviews about it. So I want to try that perfume as well. All right, so that is going to conclude my top five favorite fragrances of 2021. Go ahead and comment down below what your favorite fragrances are this year, or if you have any fragrances on your wish list, or if you've sprayed these before, or if you love the scents. Let me know what y'all what y'all wearing this year. Let me know what y'all spraying or wearing to work or wearing often because I'm always in the market to buy new perfume. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and also turn on your post notifications so that you know every single time that I'm uploading content. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at all eyes on underscore GG for pictures and content as well. I want to thank you all so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!